What's going to happen Sunday is Apple and Google will be forced to strip these two applications, TikTok and WeChat, from their online marketplaces. So people will no longer be allowed to download uh, those two applications onto their phones, only in the United States. This all goes back to a pair of executives' orders issued by President Trump back in August. He gave his administration 45 days to take action against these two companies that the U.S. alleges presents a security risk because of the possibility, the U.S. says, that U.S. user data could be shared with the government of China. Now, both of these companies deny any wrongdoing, say they do not and will not share user data with the Chinese government, and the U.S. has put forth no evidence to back up these claims. Repeatedly, we've heard from Beijing accusations that the U.S. is simply doing this to limit the success of Chinese companies in the global marketplace. Part of this, that part of this that deals with uh, TikTok clearly is intended to, at a minimum, put pressure on, ten, uh, uh, to put pressure on ByteDance to come to a conclusion for this ongoing deal that we expect President Trump to make a comment on at some point today. The deadline for that, like the deadline to remove these apps from the marketplaces, is also Sunday. Back to you. Now, Jim, clearly this uh, new executive order is going to have an impact on TikTok and WeChat users in the United States. Yeah, that's right, and it's going to be different for each of these two apps. So the users will not be forced to remove these applications from their phones or to stop using them, but they will see functionality uh, decrease. It, for one reason is because for both apps, they will no longer be allowed to get, receive updates. But for uh, WeChat, immediately they will be stripped of some of its technical uh, capabilities. So immediately we expect users of WeChat to see uh, performance decrease, to see lags, to see outages, uh, et cetera. But we expect a different situation for TikTok. They're going to have the same technical restrictions placed on them, but not until November 12th. And I think that's significant because that's after the U.S. election. These are two very different apps uh, from the perspective of U.S. users. WeChat has about 12 million U.S. users, almost exclusively people who have business relationships with China or people in the Chinese expat community communicating with their family uh, back in China. TikTok, on the other hand, 100 million users in the United States, almost a third of Americans have this application and use it on their phone. There would be huge political blowback if the Trump administration were to strip people of being able to use this before the election. The Commerce Department says that delay for TikTok is because of the ongoing negotiations that involve ByteDance and Oracle that the U.S. is reviewing now and that Beijing will have to sign off on as well. As you mentioned, we expect President Trump to make an announcement about that deal sometime today, possibly tomorrow, and there's uh, entirely possible that the order regarding uh, TikTok could be rescinded before the Sunday deadline if they are to come to terms with a deal. But as far as WeChat goes, it seems inevitable that starting Sunday, we will begin to see this application fade away from users here in the United States.